chewy to mango and they're one of the largest of the mango fruits. They have this beautiful coloured fruit, it's got a good flavour. We grow these as a grafted plant, we also grow them as seedlings. So if you have a seed grown mango tree, some of them will grow true to type but some of them aren't going to be true to type so you are going to get some seedling variation as we say. But they're really fabulous trees, quite a large tree, give it plenty of space. It's going to grow more than six metres so be prepared to have a big tree in your backyard. But they're a lovely shady evergreen tree as well so great tree to have in your backyard if you have the space. That's a beautiful tree, beautiful fruit. <music> The R2E2s are one of the best varieties to grow if you're in a marginal climate. So if you live in South Australia or Victoria, south of Sydney, and you want to try growing a mango, the R2E2 is one of the best choices to try. It's a bit hardier than the others. So although we can't promise you success, if you're in a frost-free location and you can protect your tree for the first few years until it's about three metres tall or so, you're going to have a good chance of getting mango fruits. So you might find that you have good seasons and bad seasons and that's pretty much weather dependent so you haven't got a great deal of control on that. It's just something that you have to take with growing mangoes. But worth trying if you want to, want to try a mango in a difficult mango growing climate. So like all mangoes, best suited to the tropics and the subtropics. Give them a frost free location, good drainage, full sun and you'll be cropping mangoes like this off a seedling tree in about six years and off a grafted plant in about three.